Hi, this is Travis from Miracom Products, KDT Decompression Systems and Technique, a worldwide company known for spinal decompression therapy and the decompression system and the certification technique uh, that we educate many, many doctors and many professions across the country. So we want to talk about our table design. This is a quick demonstration video of you know, basically the important features of how the Neuroflex came about. We are incredibly proud of this. We've worked on it for 25, 30 years. Many of our different uh, doctor instructors that have been in the field using this and developing different you know, products and features and things along the way. And it's, the, the table was made by our medical manufacturing, which is the largest equipment medical manufacturer in the country uh, down in Greenwood, Arkansas. And the decompressed attraction is Metler Electronics, which is out of Anaheim, California. And also all of our cushions, pillows, and soft goods belts are made by Core Products in Wisconsin. So the USA made product, especially at the price, is, is very incredible. So the front of the design, and it was always an issue trying to get a table that we worked with to be comfortable putting patients in a prone position. Prone is incredibly important in the younger patient population because of the gravitational bias and the centralization phenomenon with a posterior posterior lateral disc herniation. What we've learned is it's more effective if possible to get them prone versus throwing everybody on their back, which creates an arbitrary application. And you're going against gravity versus with it, which you can see right on this spine model here. If you create increased flexion, the jelly-like substance will come out the nerve root. So in the supine position, gravity is coming down. Even if you're distracting, it's still not working as efficient as it could. If you're able to put the position, the patient in a prone position, especially if you do into extension, see there if you add compression, you don't create any irritation of the nerve by the disc that are hitting that. So the idea was is to make sure we had a table that was superior comfort and had the versatility of the prone posture. So the idea was a hammerhead shark design uh, of the front, which is very unique to this system. So the patient's arms are down at the side, so the triceps buttress against the cushion there, and then you have the forearm pad and the grab bar here, which puts you in a 90 degree bend. It makes your musculature quiescent, very comfortable for the patient, and other systems are out like this. Your arms are straight out and grabbing onto grab bars, and your musculature is creating muscle spasm and irritation there. So that, that makes it very unique. Plus, it eliminates the need for the thoracic wing vest, which is one less step and less time. Plus, when you're adding more belts, more vests, you're creating claustrophobia and different things for the patients. The face hole here is designed really long. So shorter patients will breathe up here and taller patients up here in the front. And the max relax from core makes it very, very comfortable, uh, a good experience for the patient. You have a hand switch controller here, which is safety for your office, for you know children if they're running around in the office. You hook it right on the side of the table and it keeps it out of the way and concealed. Hand switch controller, the elevation of the table will go down to 22 inches, all the way up to 37. So it's nice to be used as, as, even as an adjusting table where you can do side posture techniques and things like that. And the power coddle sections was a big deal because other systems we use, you had to lift manually these cushions with mech locks and put them back down. So to be able to position someone, let's say an extension in prone or supine, all you do is just hit this button, elevate it up to the position that's necessary or comfortable. Same thing with the tail section here. This will go down to 40 degrees of flexion, neutral, and up into the extension position as well to facilitate the front caudal section there. So if a patient has a posterior problem, more likely it's gonna be either into extension or even flexion if they have any leg symptoms and things. That's why it's called the neural flex. So the neuroforamen, you can create flexion, open up the foramen in the canal and take off pressure of the nerve root from the herniated disc and have the peripheralization of leg pain into the calf and the thigh and have it centralized to the low back, even by positioning before you even distract uh, with the computer force protocols. So it's called directional preference positioning. This is the only system where you can put patients into multiple positions to make them comfortable, less pain, less symptoms before you create the decompression forces. So the other idea here was is to make sure the mechanism of action, the axial distraction happens right where it needs to be. So at L5S1, L4, L5, 
will always be in the in the uh, the action zone here for say a short patient that's say five foot tall or seven foot tall their lumbar spine will be somewhere between here and here which gets that distraction and also the pivot like McKenzie extension directly at the lumbar spine or into the flexion position it's very unique to our system and other ones separate up here or down there as well so that was a huge design uh, thought there and then we added a pelvic drop to this section to allow a doctor to adjust the ASIS pelvic issues before or after the decompression visit. So it makes it uh, quick, easy, smooth without moving your patients from room to room or table to table. And then up here, we have a vibration control. You, you flip it on there. It does 60 hertz of vibration, which can relax uh, back muscles. It's very well researched. So that's another option. And the for the supine position, Pelvic tilt is, is a big deal, and we build it into a bolsterous leg elevation. So when you elevate this bolster section up, it flattens lordosis and creates that pelvic tilt, and you get a much better pull uh, into the lumbar spine there, and it also ensures comfort for the patient. And we always used to use those big, heavy bolsters that almost every system uses still. You gotta wrestle between people's legs, and it's time consuming. Plus, you gotta have one more thing laying around your office, this goes really high for tall patients and it goes really low for short patients. So it's fully patient adjustable there. You have a belt deflection hook for the neural flex position. It, it keeps the belt down so it doesn't create any pelvic pressure. And you'll see up here the inversion slash instrument adjusting cushion as a face hole and arm cutouts. So the patient can go face down here and you can create the inversion position for upper thoracic herniations, you know, just general thoracic pain. Somebody has a real hypermobile thorax, you can get a little bit of, you know, gravity advantage here at an angle. You do manual manipulation, you can do massage, and a lot of our doctors do instrument adjusting, you know, on this plane. It gives you a little bit more leverage there. So that's something. And then also you can do supine inversion therapy. You know, for sports performance enhancement, if you have thoracic hernias, things like that, you can go on your back, arms above your head, and you can let the patient's own body weight distract uh, the spine, and you can loosen the spring off to make that, you know, feeling enhanced. So I'm gonna put these back up here. And the issue we've had with other systems is the table can sometimes be unwieldy for heavy patients. So the table's not supposed to open five to 10 inches here to where the lumbar spine is way here and the, the table split is up here. So the compression spring that's variable is on the end of the table here. You can adjust this thing from zero pounds tension all the way into 50. So you can actually control uh, the table, how much it opens and closes. And the most important thing is you can add perceived value to the patient of the stretch. Everybody wants to feel a good big pull. So you can do it safely with our innovative design of the variable compression spring there. So, and also you'll see, even if it's completely loose, it does not allow that unwieldy action to take place. So as soon as it hits the spring, it's progressive and it actually forces the table close. So it actually helps that decompressive phase with compression. So when you open up the vertebra and you take pressure off the nerves and osmosis is coming in and out of the end plate there, the table actually goes back with the body whenever the computer head lets off the force. So you're getting compression with decompression. And that's another thing that makes our table so much more effective than the others. And the decompressive traction head is the Metler MTD 4000. The interface is very attractive, very easy and fast to use. And for staff turnover, doctor turnover, it's very easy to, to you know, teach somebody how to use that. The table also offers extremity pulls, so you can distract the ankle, the knee, and the hip. And it also does the wrist for carpal tunnel syndrome. And the cervical device, we've worked so hard on over the years to perfect this and make it versatile with directional preference and to make it very, very comfortable. So, this allows you to put somebody in lateralization if you need to. You can offset the pull. You have a hot occipital ridge where it causes pain uh, during palpation for a patient, especially with the axial tension. 
You can offset that left or right. You can increase the flexion directed at the cervical spine there. Uh, for people who have stenosis, or if just in a manual distraction test, you find that flexion is their, their, their key to, to comfort uh, during the treatment. And for military necks, straight kyphosis there, you can create an extension position pull um, that really helps some patients out there. So thank you so much. You can go to kdtneuroflex.com for more information. And on our kdt.tv portal, you can sign up for free content. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.